That's a real guitar string, but man, you suck at this. <laughs> and now H&N's Silex HP in 22 caliber. These have become quite popular lately, probably one of the best air gun slugs out there on the market these days. I've had some experience with those. I even made a couple of videos, some pest control sessions, but I think I can get some better results. So let's see how these are going to fare out of our 22 caliber guns. The first version that we're going to put to the test is the 0.21821 Rainers. millimeter group guys that's at 50 meters or 55 yards the velocity was 870 feet per second and I think we are about to see something very interesting when we cut this clay just look at this this is where it entered the block and you can see this thing sticking out a part of the block outwards I think the slug is right here there it is this is perfect expansion by the 21 grainers at that velocity I think this this will cause devastating effect on the prey we kind of messed up the clay while cutting it still you can see the channel inside the shock effect is simply tremendous with these slugs H&N Slugs HP 0 0.218 23 grain the distance is 50 meters or 55 yards again I'd say these are great results this is definitely a flyer and this group of four shots is only 11 millimeters center to center I'm thinking the damage is going to be extensive. The channel is pretty wide. And just look at that mushrooming. on my road mic cancels the wind noise but just look at it it's pretty windy today yeah I really gotta make sure that the wind is not going to tip over my camera weather forecast says 10 miles per hour but it's gusting to 16 17 miles per hour Oh, that was a double kill definitely, even though the second one is gonna need a follow-up shot. This one has the colors of a dove. Excellent job, my friend. 98 meters. I 
another great shot 93 meters No, we already have a freeloader taking advantage of our catch. Yeah, seagulls are strong birds. Look what this one did to the feral. Well, that position is far for comfortable for shooting. But we just noticed some pigeons right next to us. 31 meters only. Yeah, right on. But it's gonna stay up there. Now would be a good time for me to quickly explain something. Decent image, out of focus image. And here's the reason why. My buddy has problems with his eyes and is wearing glasses. He's focusing the scope as per his own eyesight, hence the blurry image. I'm right next to my buddy. These are at 56 meters, not a great distance. A bunch of them. Was that a double kill? We gotta go and see. Oh, you just gotta love double kills. That's one of them. And... Right over there is the other one. Ninety four meters. We are aiming at the one on the silo wall. Oh. That's a great shot, man. Excellent. That's the 94 meter shot and man, these slugs are no joke. I see some damage right here on its head and also here. I'm not sure what happened exactly. Maybe the scope cam footage is gonna tell the story. So, that is why I'm having a hard time retrieving any of the pigeons that we shot. Do you see the white one or the whitish one at the edge of the rooftop? Distance is 75 meters. Oh, very good.
I can't see the pigeon and I'm pretty sure that it hit something. So I assume it must be up there on that thing. Well, that's a new place for me to retrieve a dead pigeon from. Climbed all the way up to this place. Well, that's only about 30 meters away and I hope there isn't too much glare. I think I should try a headshot. One mil of hold under. Got him. 48 meters. Close to medium distance, so I'm thinking maybe I should try a headshot. Now I'm shooting at a pretty steep incline, let's say close to 40 degrees. Gonna make for a little bit of hold under. Wind is 90 degrees from the left. Oh, just pinned him down. Well, another one that's gonna go to the seagulls. Yeah. They'll take care of it. The wind is pushing me. Can't keep a steady stance. Forty-eight meters. Oh, <laughs> it went straight down. It's going to remain up there on the roof. Good. That's the one that I just shot on the silo wall. And I have to hold him actually because if I let him go, wind is just gonna blow him away. But anyways, just look what the HP slug did to it. It broke the wing, penetrated its chest right here and just look at this hole. That's 87 meters and a lot of wind. Fifty meters. There you go. Fifty two meters. Boom, straight down. Oops, that was graphic at the end. Those are the pigeons that we managed to retrieve. We lost some to cats, to seagulls and also some remained on the rooftops. And the H&N Slug's HP performed just great. 
Thanks for watching everyone and catch you on the next one.